And when you're looking over here, basically what this is, is a track roller. If you can imagine, they're going to actually be rolling um, sometimes almost a mile of roller coaster track in some cases. So you could see it. Here's an example of a ride called Evil Knievel. And on the other side is also a uh, one called Thunderhead, which is at Dollywood down in uh, Tennessee. Rode it. It actually is one of the best roller coasters I've ever been on in my life. And um, the amusement today also thinks that as well because they voted it the number one wooden roller coaster in the world. But going back to this, really what it does, when they're on site, it's very difficult for them to be able to roll the track because they have to keep fitting it into the different sections. So before, they had very large equipment and they had to work with some off-site facilities. It's very difficult to get the track rolled. What we can do here is basically roll the track right on site. So this thing looks a little rough and it actually has been in about six countries in the last year, which is why it's looking this way. So we have it back here to get revved up for the season. So uh, we'll be fixing that. Not fixing it, it actually works great, but we're going to service it get it ready to go out into the field for this season. If you look over here, we're actually going to be uh, looking at the windmill. Okay, This is a brand new partnership that we have with a company out of Germany. And uh, what this does is it will mount on your home. And it's going to reduce the, uh, the energy of your home as far as being able to offset some of the energy you're using on common items like your refrigerator, lighting, your pumps, and things like that. It'll, it'll mount right up on top of your house. And um, as the wind blows, it certainly just rotates around. Now this is a very early model that's uh, not yet been balanced, but uh, our team was just in Germany, believe it or not, last week, and we're working on uh, the new prototype with their engineers over there. So this is the uh, brand new prototype, a little sleeker, a little more aerodynamic, and actually right now it's over at the university being tested in their uh, wind tunnel. So uh, we're actually going to go to that second test that I told you about right now. We're going to actually be assembling a dart. And later on, I'm even going to show you the gun that shoots that dart. So there's a lot more to come. All right, this is basically a dart assembly machine. One of a kind. There's only one of these in the world, and it's sitting right here. And we're going to actually be having an opportunity to test it today. Now, what this machine will actually do is it's going to take this needle head and a variable length body, and it's going to assemble them together. Now, I told you later on we're going to actually shoot one of these darts out of a out of a projector. But you can see there's different size uh, needles, there's different size bodies. So this, this will actually custom identify which body's in there, which needle's in there, and it will make whatever piece that's actually in there. So we're actually going to get ready to do the test right now. You can see up here, these are all the mechanisms that are going to be working to, uh, to grab all the different devices. Now it's starting to get the pieces. So basically there's one, the needle's going in now. We just had one pop out. All right, I think that's our first official one coming off the line right there. So uh, this machine will probably be shipping later on this week and we're gonna be making another one just like it to do a different series of darts with actually plastic bodies. So we can basically custom design anything that you see here we can make. Now I told you earlier in the show that when we started this business, my father was actually the inventor of the product and he had a, a diesel engine repair business. Well, he never stopped inventing. You know, he started with Prime Lock and he kept going. This is one of his newest inventions and actually something that is very, very needed in the uh, diesel shops. What this is, is basically it's a ramp, okay? Now it's not just any ramp and I'll show you the difference in a minute. But the difficulty with uh, different vehicles in the diesel repair business is it's very difficult for people to get underneath the truck with their creepers because they're putting lower uh, ground effects on the vehicles to make them look cooler, but it makes it a lot harder for them to work on. So these ramps basically allow these trucks to come up. It's a pyramid design, um, which you can actually see here. And basically what that does is it provides a lot more structure and a lot more strength. This is about a 20,000 pound truck that actually drives right up onto these ramps. Um, now this will also be showcasing one of the first operations in our manufacturing and fabricating process, which is plasma cutting. So what we do here is we're going to be starting with this sheet material and we're going to plasma cut it into this shape with all these different shapes here and we're going to get a chance to actually see that in just a minute. But I told you these ramps are not just any regular ramp. 
These ramps are called the real ringer ramp. Okay, now let me show you this. When a guy is actually backing a truck in, there's two people that usually have to be putting it onto the ramp. So you have two guys that are basically idle to try and get this truck up on a ramp. But here's the solution to that. Basically, there's a uh, bell design built right into this. So they'll bring these over. They're very, very light. As soon as the truck is parked, they'll slide this right underneath the wheel. And as the truck drives up on it, you'll see they just drive up over this, very loud ring. Now they know they're right in the seat of this, and it's safe to get out of the vehicle, and it's up on the ramp. So you know, as you can see, you know, a very, very, very unique design and uh, something that's going to keep people also very safe. So you're seeing the plasma table working right now. What we're actually cutting on there is a roller coaster part. Here's the uh, device that we have right now. If we were to try and stick this right into a mill to get all these sides machined down, it would take us forever and the part would cost way too much. But what we do is we rough cut the entire uh, outside of this piece so that when we stick it in the machine, it makes it a lot easier for them to machine that in, in a much more reasonable time. Now these pieces are going to be moving through some other operations which we're going to get to next. But you can see this piece gets machined, then it gets tacked together, and the ultimate layout for that machine is basically this device right here. And you'll see here, this is actually a roller coaster axle that makes up with this piece. And later on in the tour, we're going to get an opportunity to see this axle actually being manufactured. These are some of the other pieces that we can cut on this plasma table. You can see very, very thick material and a very, very precision cut. All right, what we're going to talk about right now is how we make this part right here. You'll notice it's a lot thinner than the last pieces that we were actually looking at, which are up to two and a half inch in diameter. This is a much thinner gauge material. So this first process is basically over here on the shear, where we cut these pieces to size, and then it'll actually go to a punch, which we're going to see in a minute. But the third operation of that is basically the bending operation. We have 175 ton here here, which basically is fully CNC controlled, and he's going to be uh, punching his part for us right now. Very precision bends to make sure that at the end of the process, everything fits together perfectly. What you see in the back there is basically a CNC back gauge. What that does, every angle is different and every length is different. So as he goes through the sequence of bends, it knows how far to move up and positions the piece. 